So we're currently hooked on next door's telephone line. It's not broken, there's no issue. I messed up a measurement. Full, glorious daylight. Ooh. Oh, hello internet. With all this extra space in the garage now, we've got to work out what we're going to do with this space. Hmm, what other projects could we have on the go? I like this space for another battery now. Anyway, I am getting ahead of myself. The compressor is probably going to take this space up. It's amazing how much of this garage was taken up by battery and everything has ended up just piling up around it in the places which you can't see on this camera that I'm not willing to show you. I've realized that you're not going to have seen where we've got to so far. So the battery has moved from here and it's now over there and yeah, I haven't heard it smash down yet. Why don't you enjoy what it took for me to get that battery up there? Oh, it was stressful. You may have noticed it's been a couple of weeks since my last video upload. Now, we had some sickness in the family and I've got a business which actually earns me a living, which needed my time and, of course, we have been on holiday. I've come back with more enthusiasm to improve the videos and work on a bunch of different projects and tell stories about the renewable transition. If you're interested in electronics, home energy storage, renewables and generally in vehicles, even petrol and diesel, then make sure that you like and subscribe for future videos on the channel. Knowing that I'm reaching an audience will help me to improve my videos and help others to find these videos too. So thank you. And don't be afraid to drop a comment. Just say hi. Tell your story. Mm -hmm. Hello people. In a couple of days, we'll be having the battery fixed into place. I've been waiting for this for so long. But before we do that, we're gonna to have to take out these rotten boards. I'm not really sure what we'll find. First step, I'm cutting off my main board at the top. Battery powered tools are so much better, but you gotta use what you got. I could do with giving myself a bit extra, so if we go if we go back to this point on this side and over on the other side, if I go a little bit further again, so I'll go to about about there. There appears to be some fixings underneath this. Further over. Um, I'm trying to be careful with it because I do want to actually put it kind of back temporary. I'm probably going to build up new ones of these, but probably stick these sheets over just to get me by until I build something proper. It makes you realize how worn out these are when you start looking at them closely. And this is desperate for a new canopy. It's amazing how much better you can see the light through here. Full, glorious, daylight but let's get back to it oh we're starting to see where the battery's gonna go and all of a sudden I've got this fear of falling now I can see it it's weird isn't it I have bashed my fingers up so much today. I've been working on the high voltage side of a hybrid electric vehicle and well, all I'm gonna say is, if you want a good reliable hybrid, just buy a Toyota instead. Anyway, maybe that's another video. Let me know if you'd like to hear about that one. Oh, doing it down here, I let the years of dust fall on my head instead. Mmm. Oh. oh, oh, that is disgusting. I've got some of it in my mouth then. Anyway, let's get on to the next one.
My main reason for wanting to use those for now was to avoid having to cut some more because they're kind of quite short and yeah, I can't be bothered with that. So I have already damaged one. It was going to happen. They're years old. New ones would be nice. But realistically, this is probably going to get a completely different style of roof that takes on board the garage as well. So I don't want to go too overboard with that. Nice having the extra light through anyway. Glorious. Let's move that last board over and then I might consider tarping this so, so it uh, doesn't get wet over the next few days. Okay, so that last one needs crowbarring off. I think it's just going to be in the way. It's just that little bit too tight. I mean, the guy's got skills, but let's give him as much room as possible to make it as easy as we can for him to lift this in. It's coming together. Okay. Crowbar time. How would you redo this roof? So, I don't think a roof as it is, is a good idea. I don't think copying that with fresh timber is a good idea. I was thinking six by twos off the house a little higher, bringing them over the top of the garage and replacing the garage roof as well. So I end up with a pitched roof across. That feels like the best option, but the guttering is on this side, which is kind of rubbish. I want to keep this wall. I want a passageway through because I just want to be able to keep an, an accessible space. It's useful as well to have a wall the other side which I can mount things on. So I was thinking kind of flat area the other side with a little ridge. So all of the water ends up at the back of the garage rather than going guttering over into next door. It just doesn't seem the right way to do it, does it? So I don't know. Maybe I will just reinstate what's here with new timber. Hmm. Decisions, hey? It's amazing how the idea of putting an electric vehicle battery on your house turns into renovating your house. Ever since we moved in, this canopy's days was numbered, but it's always held up to the wind. So now it's off, it just seems sensible to upgrade and replace it. There's so many more upgrades and replacements that are going to be done relating to this project. I've mentioned before we're going to be getting three-phase power, so we're going to need a distribution board upgrade too. Currently, my house does not have RCDs protecting every single circuit, so this was well needed anyway. Well, there we have it. That is my timbers out, ready for the great big lift. I'm going to tidy up around here and get it all nice and tidy, get rid of all the cobwebs, pull out the nails and have it ready for lift day. Ho oh, ho, I've been waiting for this day for so long. It is finally time to get this battery lifted into place. The man with the high ab is here. Let's get started. <laughs> With the battery being mounted on dollies for the last few weeks, yes, supermarket plastic dollies, two of them are quite strong. We were able to wheel it out of the garage, which then meant that the high ab driver could pick the battery up. We ended up placing a jack under the one end and jacking it up slightly, which allowed us to move the wheels out of the way because they were causing it to move around on the drive. Once he got it on the back of his lorry, he was then able to reverse back, which got him into the position he needed to be able to lift it into place. The battery is on the high ab, and now we're going to try and lift it into here, so yeah, see how this goes. The guy who's helping move it is really nice. So we're currently hooked on next door's telephone line. It's not broken, there's no issue. Uh, he's just trying to work out, scratching his head on how we're gonna move this forward. 
why don't you get an angle from here? Get yourself an angle through there. <laughs> Neighbours come out. Oh, Next door, wondering what's going on. Now, this may come as a surprise to you as I put this up on the internet, but I actually want to remain pretty anonymous and I don't want to be a nuisance to my neighbours, so keeping things low key and trying to avoid too many of these lifts at the house is probably a good idea. So it's got to go the other flipped round, doesn't it? I know it's blinding you, isn't it? That. I can head up there. I've got some beam on it now, we'll get it near that, that yeah. opening. Yeah. Slow down at that. You're pretty much bang on. You might need to come this way slightly in a minute, but that'll get you down. If anything, you're closer to that side. Well, drop a little acid. Bring it that way. Okay. Yeah. That way again. That'll do you. Okay. I've got to push it in now. It's got to go back towards that wall. So, a little bit over a bit. Yeah. For the wall? Yeah. Probably that way as well now. Okay. Down a bit. Okay. Stop there. That way a little now. Okay. You good? Yeah. Hold it there a sec. It's about this point that I realise my mistake. This channel is about showing the honest truth, showing how hard sometimes projects can be, or how mistakes can happen. When it comes to safety critical things such as lifting heavy weights or messing with high voltage batteries, then you need to have all of the knowledge to make it happen safely. The old saying, measure twice, cut once, is really a good one, isn't it? YouTube has taught me so much how to do so many things, and I hope that these videos do the same for you. There's bits of metal that are jutting out here that I didn't account for. So after giving my little speech where I owned up to my mistake, the cameraman decided not to film this bit as I'm angle grinding out bits of rubber to mount the aluminium strut. Those two are in, so I guess it's taking weight now. Yeah. That's kind of slumped over, but 
that's pretty much as much as I'm going to be able to do. You can see the pile of rubber in the background and at this point we're testing it to make sure it fits. And it does. Well there we have it, our crane man has been and gone. Not without its challenges, uh, I messed up a measurement. The battery has a, a little bit extra that juts out top and bottom, which ironically I should have spotted because we were using those to use our securing lines, but it's meant that the entire battery has had to come forward, which has meant I've had to mess with my middle uh, foot. And because of that, my bolts are not long enough, so I've got to go and buy some more bolts, which is why this timber is here at the minute. So, okay, we are back from screw fix. These little 30 mil bolts are no good. Let's try some 50 mils. That was awkward when the guy drops it in and you realize you're not able to bolt it in. These will be plenty long enough. I'll we'll get a few of them in and then I'll whack them down. I have dropped that. I'm really good with these videos on cutting out all the bits where I'm showing my incompetence. <laughs> leaving me with, leaving me with just pure competence. None of the incompetence. This will probably get cropped out. Ooh. Do the holes line up this side pretty much? Looks like we're going to be okay. I need that screwdriver. Thank you. Ignore these uh, bits of rubber, it was always going to be like that. Right, so we have a load of fixings in. Let's buzz these in and see if the battery holds in place without these pieces of timber in place. Looking good so far. I'm com confident enough to take that one out. Let's make sure I've not missed any. I mean, I'll probably end up taking one or two of these out for my outer cover. You'll see later on. There's one free at the bottom. I might put another one in there. Okay, let's take the other piece of timber out. Okay, so this timber is the last thing 
that could be holding this in place if I've not got my bolts right. So let's see. Oh, it appears to be on the wall. Yeah. I would say that is very firmly fixed in place. Exactly as we wanted. And there we are. It's high enough to be out the way, but at the same time, that's uh, that's as high as I was willing to get it with its feet on the floor. So that now means that we can move on to the next stage, which is popping the inverter here, getting our cabling from across here, maybe run it in tray uh, across this side to our inverter. And then we need to connect everything up that's on the inside as well. There is so much more for us to do in this project. We've got cables to run. We've got fuses to put in, isolators. We have loads of things that have got to go on that wall next to the battery. I've had a cable upgrade since you last saw me. Come and check this out. So this humongous cable, which used to go from the front to back of a Tesla Model 3, will replace the tiny little cable, which I intended to use. That cable wasn't long enough. This one will be more than long enough. On the one end of this, it will connect up to the battery. The other end will connect up to our fuse and our capacitor in an enclosure. Let me show you that. So here we have our fuse holder with an absolutely humongous fuse in there, 50 amp fuse. That is humongous, but it's the size holder that I needed to be able to fit our large cables of around 50 millimeters square cross section. We've got a 3D printed mount as well here, which is for the capacitor. We'll have some cables connected to that. And then we have our negative connection, which is just a, a connector. So all of that's gonna live inside an enclosure. And then out of that, we'll have our battery cables, which go to the inverter. Believe it or not, they're a bit smaller. They're something like 16 or 10 mil, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. We've also got to get mounting things on the wall like isolators for the three phase power that will come into this and then we'll connect to our inverter. There is a lot to go on this wall in addition to the battery. Oh, I can't wait. I've also mentioned to you my three phase installation. Trust me, this is happening, but these things just don't happen very quickly. Maybe I got a bit excited a bit too quickly about that installation happening, but I do have a date and we shall see, hey? I hope that you had as much fun watching this as I did making it. If you did, then why not drop a like? Also, just say hello in the comments. I want the comments to be a place where we have fun and have a laugh. So in the next video, I am gonna mention the person's comment and the person who I thought was the funniest for this video. So if you've got a funny comment that's related to what we've done this week, then drop it in the comments. In the next video, we will be looking at this three phase and I promise we will have that three phase in and there will be a sneaky twist that you will not want to miss. Honestly, I cannot believe that it's worked out like this and I will share it all with you. There is something else that's gonna happen and I'll try and bring this over. I think it will happen in the next video, but we have this, this bad boy to, uh, to fit. So until the next video, I will, uh, I'll see you next time. Battery man out. It's a bit bigger than your average consumer unit. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click on this video which YouTube recommends you'll like.